Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this vlog. Um, I'm Advait, and I'm an intern at the Atlas Experiment at CERN. Um, I thought I'd take you along on a typical day uh, in my life and show you what working here looks like. Um, it's currently 7.05 a.m. and I'm walking to the restaurant to get breakfast. Breakfast usually consists of a croissant with bacon and banana. Sometimes I'll also have tea or coffee, but today I didn't have either one. After breakfast, I walk to the office, which is directly connected to R1 via a hallway. This allows me to walk through and have a look at some of the other offices in the building. The office I'm in is located in Building 1, which is one of the oldest parts of CERN. The hallway has a nice old-fashioned feel to it, which I prefer over new offices. I then start working on my code. I'm doing a two-week-long internship at Atlas. It was organized through an organization in Germany that gives high school students the chance to do a project at CERN. My project has to do with the reconstruction and identification of three-pronged tau decays. These taus are produced via the Julian process and a hadronic and leptonic tau lepton is produced. The code I'm writing takes the data from the root files and analyzes them using a tool called rdataframe. This really speeds up the analysis and allows me to focus more on the physics behind the analysis. I'm also keeping track of my work by inserting it directly into the latex document of the paper I'm writing on my project. The whole process consists of looking online, finding old papers written in the 70s or the 80s and trying to apply it to my code. Sometimes I have a coding problem and I look uh, up the solution on the root wiki or on the root forum. One funny thing that happened uh, is that I was looking for a solution and I accidentally uh, stumbled upon a tutorial that I had actually written uh, one year prior myself when I was doing an internship at Root. So it was funny to kind of teach myself how to normalize a histogram. I've been working for a couple of hours now, both coding and working on LaTeX. Uh, it's now 12 and I'll head to lunch in a couple of minutes. Similar to breakfast, I didn't feel comfortable filming myself eating lunch, even more so because for lunch we actually head to R1 with the people from Click Test Facility 2 that are right around the corner from where we sit and we talk about detective physics and just modern physics problems. Okay, now I've left the office and I'm going to meet up with my group because we're going to see the CMS detector. For those who don't know, CMS stands for a Compact Neuron Solenoid, and it's quite similar to the Atlas detector, just a bit smaller. After the CMS visit, we returned to Cite de Meran, which is the campus that's on the Swiss side. And uh, we had dinner in R1, which is where we also had lunch and breakfast. After dinner, uh, instead of playing board games as we usually do, I had some work to do. So I sat down in the building next to R1, got myself a coffee and sat down with my laptop. Uh, what I was doing is uh, looking through the work I had done in the day and writing down all the questions and uncertainties that I had so that in the morning I could ask my supervisor all the questions that I needed answering and not waste any time. This took about 45 minutes to an hour and after this I played some games with my friends, uh, usually table tennis or something similar, and then I headed back to the hostel. Okay, it's now about 10 
p.m. I just finished up my work by writing down all of my questions and stuff that I didn't understand today so that tomorrow morning when my supervisor gets there I don't waste any time trying to recall what I didn't understand and I can get all the questions out of the way and make room for the new knowledge. Um, it has to do with uh, Tao uh, identification methods and fake Tao events and how to kind of classify it and how they contribute to the internet. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you around. Let's hope the heavy ion guys didn't mess up. <laughs>